Hello and welcome to lecture 9 of the Linux command line. So let's go ahead to open our terminal. Okay, so uh, I will just uh, mention how to mention here how to rename uh, files. Uh, rename files. So if I have a text here called text, let's call it here Java and uh, let's go to the desktop so remember that the move command is the uh, is the same like cut right so you can move a folder to a folder or move a text to a folder right so if I say uh, move Java to desktop 2 it will be gone in just one second yeah let's make another file here call it java2 so just that's a review for move right the thing is you can move you can use the same command move to rename a file so if you say move java2 to c++ this command will actually rename java2 because you're not putting it you're not putting it into any directory you're just saying move java2 c++ so that means you are renaming. So here, you see, Java 2 became C++. So, just to make everything clear, move can do two things. It can move, it can do the actual move, so it can move a file to a f uh, folder, or it can move a folder to a folder, or it can rename. So if you say move, so you can say move file name 1, file name to blah 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 and then a directory here right so this means it will move file name 1 and file name 2 to put it into this directory if you say file name 1 to the directory it will only move file name 1 but if you say file name 1 file name 2 without specifying a directory that means you are actually renaming the file let's make it one more time let's call it python so if I say move okay if I say move python to uh, what language do I like C sharp as you can see it it was renamed now so that's just uh, that's just how to rename a text file okay and same goes for the desktops for for example if you make a folder call it uh, C++ so if you say move C++ to C minus minus you see it was actually renamed because there is no directory called C minus minus but if you say move C minus minus to desktop 2 it will actually go to desktop too so that's really good now I want to introduce you to one more very 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 useful trick in the Linux command line actually you can do multiple commands in one line so if you, you can say here move for example you can say here make directory um, mm, make directory folder one and you can say semicolon and you can say date and then semicolon and then you can say calendar and then semicolon and then say enter so what happens here is that I make a directory and I show what the date is and then I show what the calendar calendar is all in one line so you can do multiple commands on the same line uh, uh, as long as you are using a semicolon to separate them, many are many of you are familiar with uh, C++ and Java, and you use like a semicolon to th to terminate a statement. So you can say it's the, sa the same goes for uh, the Linux command line. So you can say, let's do it again. Make directory folder to semicolon. Uh, uh, what to do again? Let's do make di let's not make directory. Let's uh, move uh, folder one, 
Fodler one, it's called Fodler one. Fodler one, put it to the desktop too. And be aware here, if I use a semicolon, okay, so what happened here when I did it? So what happened is that command make oh sorry there was a mistake here let's do it again for example let's make a diary okay let's make a directory call it okay text so I will the thing is I want to copy I want to move the text to desktop 2 and make a folder and at the same time call it folder 1 so I will say cp text put it in desktop 2 semicolon and then I will make a directory make a directory folder 5 5 and then enter so I copied this in the desktop and made another directory or if you want to move it you can do this so I can say move text to desktop 2 semicolon make directory folder 3 semicolon and put folder 3 in folder 5 let's see if this will work perfect so I have done three things I have moved the text file that was here put it in the desktop to and I have made another directory called folder 3 but you don't see folder 3 here you know why because after I did folder 3 I moved it to folder 5 so if I open folder 5 I will see folder 3 as you see here you can do lots lots of crazy things when using multiple commands on the same line uh, so that's it for now and I will see you next time to 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 make your own command so now you are going to define your own command which is really 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 cool so I will see you next time bye bye